Well, if you're worried your teenager might be vaping, a quick test could help clear the air. WCCO's Liz Collin went to a Twin Cities lab where curious parents are using test results to snuff out an alarming epidemic. We have talked a lot about it, actually. As the aunt of a 16-year-old, Liz Spenny has warned of the dangers of vaping. A test to check suddenly has her niece Sadie Morgan listening more closely. You wouldn't want to try it if you knew you could be caught doing it. We make sure the water is shut off in the sink so you can't access any fresh water. Alex Lampkin at any lab test now in Plymouth knows the subject can be uncomfortable. So can the test. Blue toilet water and a dry sink keep results accurate, so kids can't dilute the results. There's times where kids, you know, absolutely do not want to come in. That's probably a, a sign that they're doing something they're not supposed to be doing. He offers two types of tests for parents to see if their kid is one of the 20% of Minnesota high school students using e-cigarettes. So if they're trying to see if it's a one-time use, recently, a urine test is going to be sufficient. Lamkin recommends that $50 test to parents who believe vaping has happened in the last few days. If you want to look back farther, he says a hair follicle test for $120 is a better bet. A good choice if parents think their child might stop vaping to pass. The hair test goes back three months. Both detect nicotine in a teenager's system, called cottonine once it's metabolized in the body. In this test, parents learned their kid had been vaping in the last few days. Even though e-cigarette smoke doesn't have the carcinogens tobacco smoke does, doctors say people who vape still run the risk of heart disease, lung, and bladder cancers. But if your teen has no interest in the health effects, Lamkin believes the test alone will send a message. They might not be vaping at all, but if they know that that is available and that it's an option, then that might deter them from using altogether. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News.